Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, so we're going to jump right in. I'm going to start off with a fresh face, and I'm using my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer to prime my face to keep my face nice and hydrated underneath my makeup. I'm just rubbing that in to my skin. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> now I'm going to use this Smashbox primer. This is a great primer for filling in your pores, and it helps smooth out your skin so that your foundation looks nice and smooth and even so I just put that all over my face as well next I'm gonna use my Mac Pro Longwear concealer that I'm <laughs> actually almost running out of and I'm gonna use that to correct the darker areas on my face I do this all the time you guys should be used to it by now and um, I love using this concealer because it is super full coverage and you cannot see anything like underneath my foundation of course today I'm going to use my Lancome foundation and my Zoeva flat top brush and I'm just going to apply my foundation all over my face. Favorite foundation, hands down, hands down. I love it. I love it. I just love it. It just looks like skin. It doesn't emphasize your texture. It looks so smooth. They have a wide variety of colors. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them up with a spoolie that has nothing on it just to push the hairs up. Then I'm going to use my Wonder Brow today to fill in my brows and my Zoeva brush. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. I have a full Wonder Brow first impressions video. If you want to check that out, I will put that right above my head right here. And you can see how I feel about this stuff. <laughs> and I'm just going to fill in one brow on camera. Just to conceal under the brows, I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and a concealer brush. And I'm going to apply the concealer underneath my brows and then blend it out with that concealer brush. And just make sure everything is nice and blended. To further blend out everything, I'm going to take this blending brush and blend out underneath um, my eyebrow just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Next, we're moving on to the base for our eyeshadow. I'm using this Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm applying that all over my lid. This is going to help the colors be a lot more vibrant. Then I'm going to set it with my, what is this, Graftobian and Laura Mercier powder mixed together. Just applying most of the product in the crease and then blending the rest out. Now I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette in this color Raw Sienna and this is going to be our transition color today and I'm using that same blending brush and just using Winter Wiper Motions going back and forth and blending that transition color out. Now I'm going in with this orange color here. I didn't know this color was so pigmented until I put it on my eyelid. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just blending this color out right underneath that color we just put down. And I'm just using Circular Motions on the outer portion and then blending it in to the inner portion of the eye. Now I'm taking this pink color right here and I am just blending that in underneath that orange color that we just placed down, blending some in the outer V and just, you know, putting it in there. Now I'm taking this color red ochre. Mm, this color, I was just kind of really playing in eyeshadow. I don't know what this did for the look, but <laughs> I'm just putting this in the outer V using circular motions. Now I'm taking this concealer brush and I sprayed it with some Fix Plus spray and I used this MAC pigment and I'm placing that all in the center of my eyelid and just packing that color on. It's so pretty. Now I'm taking this pink color here with a pencil brush and kind of defining that crease a little bit and blending out that coppery shade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner. This is the NYC liquid liner that I heard they no longer sell in Walmart, which sucks because I love this eyeliner and <laughs> I'm doing my wing liner. I heard you can get it online though still, so that's good. <laughs> now I'm taking this chocolate shade from the palette and just defining my crease a little bit more. I just wanted, to, I just wanted it <laughs> to be a little bit deeper. Now I'm going in and applying my lashes. These are from Coco Lashes. Everything in this video will be listed in the description box down below. Now we're moving on to highlighting and concealing underneath the eye. I'm taking my N my NYX, I was gonna say NYX again. My NYX concealer <laughs> and placing that underneath my eyes. And I mixed two colors just to get my perfect like concealing highlighting shade and I also just kind of correct the outside where my wing is with a flat brush and I use my damp beauty blender to blend out that highlight. Now 
So now I'm going in with a wedge sponge and I'm taking my Laura Mercier and my Graftobian powder mixed together and I'm baking underneath my eyes. I don't know why I decided to bake today, but I just felt like doing it, I guess. <laughs> and I did both eyes. Now I'm going in with my NYX concealer. I think this one is in the color nutmeg and I'm highlighting the center of my face. So my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my whole upper lip basically and my chin. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my damp beauty blender. So I'm gonna use that same sponge and the same powder to set my upper lip, um, my chin, the bridge of my nose with the other end of the sponge and I put a little bit on my forehead. And this just helps your makeup to stay in place all day and it also helps your highlight to pop as well and underneath your eyes this helps with creasing so if you have a lot of creasing underneath your eye like um where you put your concealer <laughs> I can think of it um, just try baking it should help now I'm going in with my Mac mineralized skin finish in the color dark and I love doing this because it gives you a nice smooth creamy look underneath the eyes as well as anywhere that you put that concealer and I'm just blending away or sweeping away that translucent powder and I also did set my entire face with the rest of that powder that I had on the brush now I'm going in and I'm gonna bronze with this same brush I think this is a Sigma tapered brush <laughs> and I'm just going to go in the hollows of my cheek and bronze up my face this is gonna give our face a lot more dimension and help our face not to look flat because no one's face is one color and um, this just helps give you a nice bronzy contoured look you know what I mean so I love doing this I do my forehead um, my jawline and I also do the hollows of my cheek I'm just gonna pinch that same brush and just bronze up my nose on the sides a little bit this just helps my nose not to look lost in the sauce if you know what I mean now I'm taking this Anastasia contour kit I'm taking the darkest color in this kit and just going on top of my bronzer and this just darkens the bronzer up a little bit without making my contour look muddy so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm going to now set my face with my Urban Decay setting spray and I'm also going to use my MAC setting spray as well just because I love the MAC one it makes my skin look nice and dewy and smooth and like skin so just shower in it you know it just helps <laughs> now I'm going in with my liner I'm using the Rimmel liner I love this liner it doesn't move and I'm just doing my waterline my hair looks a hot mess like this tutorial <laughs> if you guys follow me on snapchat you know I was not feeling it but you guys wanted it up so you got it <laughs> now I'm taking that pink color that we used on the eyes and I'm just blending that out on the waterline below the waterline now I'm taking this dark brown shade taking it in the outer portion of the waterline and now I'm using my mascara just to define my lower lashes a little bit more so they make my eyes pop a lot more <laughs> gotta do your bottom lashes got to now I'm taking Primavera and I'm putting that in the inner corners of my eye I love doing this because it makes your eyes pop a lot more as well um, just another thing because I'm looking at my lashes there's a lot of fallout from this MAC pigment so be aware <laughs> now I'm taking the glow kit by Anastasia and I'm placing this on the high points of my face so on my cheekbones and then I'm going in with the other glow kit um, the sun dip one and I'm putting that on top just because the Nicole Guerrero one is a little bit too ashy for my liking I love the palette the glow kit but I just need something on top of it to make it look right on me now I've been loving doing this lately by the way going underneath my eyebrows with the um, sun dip glow kit <sighs> that bronzy shade in there underneath your eye like your brow right there psst, is bomb okay <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be doing this from now because I really like it now I'm going on the bridge of my nose with that bronzy highlight and a little bit on my cupid's belt and a little bit on my chin and I think that's it for the face except for the lipstick <laughs> so now I'm going in with this Anastasia lipstick I used a lot of Anastasia stuff today Mm, I, it wasn't on purpose but um, I'm going in with this lipstick color will be listed in the description box because I cannot remember and I'm putting that all over my lips you guys know I don't like pink lipstick but uh, I did this tutorial for you I did it for you <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial do not forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and it helped you out and I will see you guys in the next one